But is it butt rope? I bet it's a butt rope. <laughs> it's not a butt rope. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we went. We went over this. You can't just. It's a butt rope. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That rope's coming out of his booty. <laughs> Welcome to Copper Peace. Once again, I'm your host and DM, Steve Esposito. I'm joined by four very... People. Very people. people. <laughs> I'm joined by four very people. Uh, to go around the table really quick, once again, let's introduce the characters playing this game. Hi, I'm Chris. I play Bramble and No More Luck. Hi, I'm Nick. I play Axel Rosé, the Dragonborn Paladin. Hi, I'm Lucas. I play Ren Rolson, the Gnome Rogue. I'm TJ. I play Bunky the Hildorf Clark. There we go. Now I'll last time the you guys... Clark. Okay, that's <laughs> me. Okay, so you guys killed a diva. We have some hot chicken ass. Hot, yeah. <laughs> and then a spider ate him. But he yelled, get them, get them, my pretties. Like like something out of the Wizard of Oz. Um, Isaac's unconscious on the floor. Yes. There's a big golden mace over there. Uh, there's... A fuck doll on a table. <laughs> we, we talked okay. before this, and we couldn't think of another name to call it besides like, that. Th- it's, a, it's a fuck doll for Strahd. I don't know what <laughs> else, like, yeah, take all these body parts and make it look like her so I can finally have. Yeah, fuck you, Strahd, you creepy motherfucker. <laughs> all right, cool. All right, so we're what caught if... up. <laughs> all caught up. All caught up. Um, oh, you guys got Ren back. Because he was hunted. Yeah. Yay. So now you guys are left in this room. This creature started turning into random things. Killed himself. Or got killed. By something. Oh, mostly Ren. Yeah. Mostly Ren. <coughs> I think it was that shot to the abdomen. Yeah. Maybe. So what do you guys do now? Well, we gotta get Isaac back up. Yo, right? Isaac. I try you to good? pick up the mace. What's your strength? My strength is... 16. You can pick it up, but you're having a lot of trouble. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look at Isaac, and I'd like to evaluate his condition. Would that be a medicine check? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's going to be... Whoop. Oh, natural Whoa. 20. Shit. So you're like... I always waste them on shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you you look at Isaac and you realize... You know exactly what's wrong with him. He got hit by this uh, by this spell and it hit him pretty pretty rough. <laughs> so you, uh, you're you able... You know that you could heal him. Okay, but is it a lot of... like Is he like really, really hurt or is he just... He's really, really hurt. Okay. I'm going to cast Healing Word on him. Uh, it's gonna be... Where are my D4s? Where are my D4s at? Oh, there they are. <laughs> where are my D's at? Uh, oh. <laughs> five. <laughs> uh, so that's gonna terrific. be... He gets ten health back. Alright, so he, uh... That, that pretty much gets him to the point where he opens his eyes and goes... And he, can, he can't really move that much, but he's like, what... What just happened? What happened? Did we get him? Yeah, we got him. Yeah, we got him. We gotta go. I don't feel great about it, but we got him. Ugh. It was, it was, shit got weird. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> shit gets weird in this place all the time. I don't like following you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, we should get you to safety. And out of here. We should all get out of here. You guys want to leave? Yeah. You want to take that, uh. Uh, body with us? No! Alright, we're gonna leave it. But we're, we're 100% sure that's not actually Irina? You're 100% sure. Alright, good. Can I actually, leave? you ask Isaac that question, he goes, that's not her. Not a single part of that is her. Alright. Cool. Good enough Can, for me. Does it make sense to, like... I don't know if this is... Does it make sense to burn it so it's not in existence anymore? Isaac. I was... I looks think... at you and goes, good idea. And he, with a like a snap he lights the table on fire that's holding the body we need to get out of here now because now <laughs> yeah. there's a fire in here <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever smell burning flesh uh, not oh, great it's awful and yeah that it's fire, pretty bad that catches up really quick because that body's also like pumped in with extra stuff so you guys head down you head into it like a chamber that you guys previously heard before that had like, music playing the music is stopped at that point 
and you hear like this voice going, "What? What's going on? Who? Who, who are you?" Oh, it's a a man who now looks like the most normal human being you've ever seen, and, and he goes, "Oh, my name is my name is Clovis." Um, what what do you guys? What what? Okay, first I think there's a fire going on. If I'm not so mistaken. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Everyone should leave. Okay. Um, can we look at? Okay, so I don't I don't know what's been going on here since till about right now. What's what's going on? Like there's, there's a fire, fire upstairs, okay, and we I, have to I, leave. I know that part. Um, <laughs> we could talk about this outside of the fire. Okay. Can we let? I'm trying to think. There's a, I have like a whole a bunch of time. people here. Can we bring them all to safety? Are we talking Monsters? people or creatures? Monsters. Inside. Well, let's go. I want to roll insight on this guy. All right. Seven. Twelve plus five is twelve. Did I use remove curse on the wrong thing? No. I don't all think right. you're a human. I think you're an illusion that's trying to distract us right now. Nope. Uh, I'm a human, and he's like he he goes over and he puts his hand on you, and he goes. Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's don't go. Don't touch me. Much. Don't touch me. Okay, okay. I mean, it's fine. Let's sorry. get out of here. <laughs> okay, cool. Can we let the others out too? Sure. What other one? Uh, Who just else? fine. Just, just get uh, me okay. the fuck out of here. There's a fire. <laughs> so, so you guys, the, the main house is, is on fire, and you make yourselves out back to the courtyard. Smooth under That's pressure. Not here. Um, you get to the courtyard, and you the previously, like, the, the creatures you saw have all turn back into humans. Oh. All right. Oh. And they're all going like, what is going on? Run, Why are fire. we in here? Can I they, do... One of them is like, like chained by the neck to a, uh, to a pole. And he's in this, this woman's like, I, how did I get here? Can I do perception just to see if we notice who any of them are? You don't know who any of them are, but some of the parts are somewhat familiar. Okay. Because of, uh, well, you're not going to know anything. You were literally just dragged here. Well, the they're probably the creature people that were creature people before. Yeah. Yeah. They got um, changed. I guess we should set about freeing them. Okay. So it takes you about like an hour, but you're kind of going through the whole place. Uh, slowly, mm-hmm. the fire is now starting to engulf, engulf that entire section of the building. So we're outside now? Yeah, you guys are in the courtyard area. Okay. Like right there. Oh, go into so the big let's building? go into the other building and see what's going on. You go into the big building. Start making small chat with. So, what do you guys think about the Abbot? <laughs> Abbot? Yeah. That that guy that came here a while ago. How long ago was a while ago? Don't tell me two hundred years. I I don't know how long a while ago <laughs> is, but do you know what year it is? Do I know what year it is? <laughs> I I don't know. We don't know what year it is. Can you let us out of these these rooms? There's a dead body in this one with us, and we don't know. Yeah, what's... yeah, there is. But <laughs> and also, this one guy lost his fingers. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Can we? Um, yeah, I guess we'll just. Oh, do we still have the keys that he gave us? Yeah, you do. Oh, Let's yeah. start unlocking doors. Yeah. We should like figure out a way to make sure they can't like go back before we start freeing people. Sorry. Out to you guys on that part, but you well, unlock like... all the doors. And about a total of 150 people come oh, out. Oh, boy. Never mind. Damn. Let's let them out. A lot of them holding their heads. All, not really old or anything, but they're but all I, very... Is there just one dude stuck in a well? I, <laughs> you hear the yelling of someone from the well who's like, Help me! Help me! <laughs> holding on to a rope. See, all right, I'll get him out of there. So you all get right. the person out of the well and all this other stuff. We're big heroes. Yeah. I feel like we just let out a bunch of zombies. Nah, they're no. all people. Uh, all right, so let's let them back out into the courtyard and let them go home to the town. To where? They've been here for 200 years. It's been 200 years? <laughs> That's what the abbot said. You've been 200 years. They all look at each other and like, how is that even possible? There, there, there's no there's no way. That's 200? There's no way that we can live Dos for that Do siento, do siento años. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what kind of tongue you're speaking. <laughs> eh. So. I believe it's Elvish. Okay. <laughs> what, what are you guys going to do with these people? Uh, Eat them. 
What? What? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's, you can't possibly. There's too many. That's, that's the problem. That's, yeah, that's There's the problem. There's too many people to eat. That's the problem. Jeez. If we start eating some, then the others will leave. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or kill us. Um. But well. Can I pull some rogy crap? What? Be like. But before you go, I need everybody to empty their pockets. No. What? Jesus. <laughs> before you go, Come we're going to rob. Just well, make back and then, you know, go on. So here's the thing. In the 200 years, um, that town down there, Breshk, has come to fear you. Because they think only devils live up here. I was no. sort of right for a little while there. But uh, it looks like you guys got some good fields going for growing stuff. You got some shelter. You keep that going for a little bit. Maybe clean the place up. I'll convince. We'll convince the mayor to come up here and take a look and see. Hey, it's not really devils. It's everything's fixed now. Also, you should put out that fire. Yeah, it'll uh, burn itself out. <laughs> yeah. The uh, the people look amongst each other and they're like, "Well, yeah, we we all originally came up here because we were really sick." And then uh, sick with what? We were all just sick with random stuff oh. and uh, lung problems couldn't breathe, heart issues well you've convalesced Various nicely diseases. I'm sorry? you've convalesced nicely well hopefully but I guess it makes sense for us to keep this place a, a temple of healing which is what it's supposed to be yeah <clears throat> well thank you you guys want to do rest Yes, All right, we so definitely need a rest. Should we go back to the town and rest, or should we rest here? Up to you guys. Um, I mean, I say we should rest here and then go back to the town and be like, everything's good there now, and we can bring everybody there. I think that would be the best idea. Anybody else got opinions? I like resting here. Uh, that way, when we walk over to town, we'll be in a better position. Yeah. Okay. In case something happens. All right. I start awesome. walking. <laughs> I'm just All like, right. you know what? I put my crossbow on my back. and I. That's how you got kidnapped in the first place. Yeah, you got to stop. Yeah, you, no. Off, well, man. You guys rest up. You're back in full health. The next day comes. And oh, I was of... only going to rest one hour and then start helping. Oh, okay. So you start yeah. helping people. You start giving direction. Of... There's a one I'm way goes. back. Seven I'm HP. I'm I see you all sleeping. I'm at 40 of my 41 HP. So we're rested now. <laughs> Yeah, and the next day has come. The smoke coming from the main house has, I guess, uh, gone away. Isaac is walking amongst everything, looking up at the uh, the burnt building, shaking his head. How 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 do you do that? What? With the snapping and the flames. Oh, the arm. Well, I woke up with it one day so to speak. My arm was completely torn off by the wolves. And then I went back and the Burgomaster uh, gave me a place to stay and he made me one of his henchmen for some reason. I, I don't know why. And then one day I wake up with this monstrosity of an arm. So you're saying Irina's gone, huh? We're, we're trying to find her. Yeah. We thought you'd come up here. I thought so too. Um, Ismark said all. to bring her here. Actually, hmm. Maybe we can go back to Is Bismarck. Ismark. What's his name? Ismark. Bismarcky. Bismarcky. Ismarcky. We'll go back to Ismark. I would like to have a couple of words with him. Would you guys like to go back to the town of Barovia? I'm okay with that. Oh, well, we, we gotta there. go ahead and talk with the mayor of. Yeah, Bresk well, after. And take care of Bresk. Then, yeah, we could do that. Because what else, other than finding Irina, do we have to do? Maybe that's why he suggested we bring her here. Let's go back and check. Fall in the lake. And then Strato would show up and we'd pee all over him. Yeah. Did you say pee all over him? No, beat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I totally said I'm pee. <laughs> Just pee all over him. Water sports. It's good. <laughs> it's got to pee on him. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna pee on him a little. So, um, 
So uh, we go to... Isaac goes, I think it's in our best interest to go there. Okay. So we go to Bresk. Kresk. Kresk. We're in Kresk. Well, we go to the main town. Yes. Go to the... And talk with the mayor and be like, everything's good up there. You, you wouldn't believe the crazy <laughs> shit up there. <laughs> and the mayor Kresk goes, what happened? Uh, well... There was a 200-year-old abbot hmm. uh, who was really a, diva. a celestial, <laughs> and he was mutating the people that lived, the sick people that originally were there 200 years ago, into hideous man-beasts, but we killed him, and now they're all people again. Huh. So they're rebuilding? Yes. Yeah. In a sense. Ugh. Okay. This is an odd situation. I, f- I didn't, I didn't know what was going up up there. Oh, I saw those messed up mongrel folk. But, I guess you guys did something good. I hope so. I, uh, yeah. No, it should only get the attention of Strahd even more. We'll have to keep an eye out. Of course. <laughs> what... He he knows you're here. We beat him up. Yeah, but who knows if he's coming back. Why, well, he shouldn't. I think he's pretty much following us at this point. Anyway. I found something. On the oh? floor. Oh, really? After his disappearance, I was looking around the grounds, and I found a letter. I op- addressed to you, but I opened it up on your behalf. Oh. How magnanimous of you. <laughs> That's illegal. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, that's a federal crime. <laughs> it says federal Barovium investigation <laughs> freeze. <laughs> it says, my friends, know that it is I who have brought you to this land, my home, and know that I alone can unleash you from it. I bid you dine at my castle so that we can meet in a civilized surrounding. Your passage here will be a safe one. I await your arrival. Your host, Strahd von Zarovich. We got a dinner party. You know, he keeps, like, telling us that he awaits our arrival and all this stuff, but he keeps coming to us. I think he's serious on this one. Uh, Yeah, that's... You guys used a weapon against him. We sure did. So do you know what you guys are exactly dealing with? Yeah. With Strahd? With Strahd? Yeah. yeah, we've... Um... It's a dance-off, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I see you have the town idiot with you. <laughs> yeah. 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 As he wasn't here before. He, yeah, he got himself kidnapped by the dog, man. Yeah. What are you guys heading to next? I think we should have a sidebar and huddle up and discuss that. Do what you may. I'll be around. Okay. Thank you very much. He leaves Thank the you. room. Out of your shot of this guy. Before we go to this castle, I think we should look for the relics. That's what I was just thinking about that myself. What other relics do we need? I don't remember what they were. Well, there's the seeds. <laughs> yeah. Which right. are the gems. I think those are with the druids. Oops, that yeah. sounds. What? Ye- ye- <laughs> yesterday land? The druids of yesterday land? The what was that place? I don't I actually remember. Wrote that one down. Easter Hill? Yester Hill, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Isaac goes, what the hell are you guys talking about? The Battle of Yester Hill. Yes, Magic Yester Seeds Hill. Glow Bright, Yester Hill We're not Breeze. telling him this. Yester Hill Breeze, uh, Davian side quest. Uh, it's something that we learned about kicking the druids out of the Wizards of Waverly 101. Will it help find Arena? Yes. Maybe. Just say yes. Yes? Yeah. So you guys are going to go after these stones? Is that the deal? Who's saying anything about a stone? I might have overheard some words. <laughs> why, are you, why are you listening? Hmm? Hmm. All right, isn't it on the way back to the place? You know what? Is it on the way back to the place? We don't. Uh, Yester Hill? Yeah. 
Is Yester Hill back on the way back we to need, Barovia? We need a big map. Hold on. We'll bring up the big Sorry, map. Sorry, Steve. Um, <laughs> we'll go back and yell at Ismark after we get all the things we need to help find Irina. Should we, um... Can we have a sidebar without Isaac around? <laughs> Isaac goes, fine, I'll just <laughs> Sorry, Isaac. Go. Just give me a minute. Stay, hang around for a minute. All right, so we walk away for a minute. That guy sucks. Can, can, <laughs> what? He's, can I just he's make, a good dude. <laughs> can I make a suggestion? Can we just kind of clue him in on what we're doing and what's going on? Because either way, he's going to follow us. I thought we already did that. But I don't think he knows about like us finding the relics and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't need to know that, though. I know, but he's going to follow us and everything like that anyway. Yeah. So why don't we just kind of be like, we're going to be doing this. And We've already got the two relics that Madam Eva told us about. But there was more than that. No. Yeah. What's the worst that'll happen if we tell him about the relics? Strahd kidnaps him and knows that we have both of them and then uh, sends a horde of monstrosities yeah, yeah, to sure. deal with us. Okay. Devotes his undivided attention to us. Convinces me that I'm better off without you guys and then I turn on you. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so we could just tell him um, we have to, we have places to go before we... <laughs> we could tell him we're still looking for things to help us fight Strahd. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're looking for oh, things man. to fight Strahd pop, pop, and... Pop. Yeah. Find Ivory. Yeah. Alright, so... Let's go to Yester Hill. And, and, as well as include him in what we were just talking about. We're not gonna Strahd. offer up that information unless he asks about it. About yeah. what? Oh, yes. So what? Isaac comes back into the room. He goes, "Are you?" I didn't guys? even know we were indoors. <laughs> Neither did I. Oh, I didn't know either. I, I thought we were just huddling there. outside of where we whooped Strahd's ass. Oh well, you guys were talking to the burger master for a bit, so you right. can only assume you guys were inside. Even though I did not mention that. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. So right. the um, Isaac comes back into the room and goes, "So, are you guys done?" Yes. And what if, what's going on? We're going to Yester Hill. Okay. We're looking for things to help us fight Strahd. Yes. Have you found anything yet? No. Do you think Ismark knows anything? I think he knows a lot more than he's letting anyone know. Yes. I agree with that. Well, as much as I would like to help you guys do that, I would like a couple of words with Ismark. If you want to go back, go back. Steve has a sidebar with himself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really not that far back to Barovia. You mean... It's what, a day's travel? Baraki? No, Barovia. Where Ismark is the new Primarch. Oh, right, 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 right. Not right. Primarch, uh, Burger Timer. Burgermeister. But we're going to go to Jester Hill still? Yes. I mean, it's right look, there. this guy got kidnapped by a bunch of dogmen. He can't just roam the lands by himself. Well, he's not going to get kidnapped by dogmen anymore, though. We should take, we should we take should him to sort him. Yeah, because he's uh, not fit to fight <laughs> if we get attacked. How um, about this? I'll wait here. Make sure the construction of this new area goes down well. Maybe I can help meld some things together. I'm clearly not in the shape to be fighting any monstrous creatures. Hmm. You're the smartest one out of all yeah, of us. Yeah, that's a safe bet. <laughs> None of us thought of that. But you guys come back here. You grab me. And then we'll go back. To Valaki. We'll have words. We could go to Valaki, but... To Barovia. To I Barovia, want to go back sorry. to the town of Barovia. The town of Barovia. In Since the county got... of Barovia, on the plain of Barovia, Sound good. in the universe of Barovia, <laughs> where everything's named Barovia, <laughs> because Strahd's a giant narcissist. <laughs> Sounds great, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening during all that. I'm sorry. All right, so let's go to Easter Hill. All right, so it's morning, so you guys get around to Easter Hill right around. It's not too crazy far. You guys have a horse and carriage this time. So. Wow. Yeah. 
Luxury. Yeah, before. I have prepared banishment. This is the height of luxury. I'm gonna throw that out Watch there. Watch your arms, please. <laughs> I did. So, you guys get there, and it's about an hour or two before sundown. Oh, this is a straight up henge. The trail through the thick wood leads to a hill covered with dead grass and cairns of black rock. Oh, good. Dark, ominous clouds gather high above, and a single bolt of lightning strikes the hilltop. West of the hill, the land, the woods, and the sky vanish beyond a towering wall of fog. Okay. Their trails run along two concentric rings of cairns that encircle the hillside. Each cairn is ten foot high, mounted of slimy black rocks. Slimy? Slimy. It's up on a hill, it might be like misty. No, I think these are just bad druids. Probably. Yeah, <laughs> they can be in nature. Oh, it also rots. Yeah, fuck. Do you keep on going? All what right. are you guys doing? Do you want to just follow the road? I want to know what just happened. Right, <laughs> You'll find out in a second. <laughs> Alright, so we got a Y3 on the map right now. To Where's the Y3? The... Oh, right to right the center. To the, middle? To the top of the hill. You don't want to, like, scope out around it? I'm going to go Could a little left. I'm going to walk up the path a little bit in the middle. I cast Guidance on Ren. You can add a D4 to your next ability check if you make one. Ooh, for how long? Thanks. It's you. just a minute. All right. For just a, that's cantrip, right? Yeah. Neat. Just figured I'd use it. Right. So to kind of give you an idea, these these rocks around here are about 10 feet tall. Mm-hmm. So okay. you really can't see into what's going on. In the oh, all right. Oh, okay. So I, I guess gotcha. we should just shoot right up the middle, huh? Yeah. I still want to go around. Being the rogue, I, I like the. All right. Area. You could do whatever you want. So let's, let's go to the top of the hill. At the top of the hill is a wide ring of black boulders and smaller rocks that collectively form a makeshift wall, enclosing a field of dead grass. Lightning strikes the edge of the ring from time to time, illuminating a ghastly 50-foot tall statue made of tightly woven twigs and packed with black earth. The statue resembles a towering, cloaked man with fangs. Oh, good. Hey, Bunky the Vampire Slayer. Uh, what time of day is it? It's starting to get sundown. Okay. I whip out the old... Well, now it's like dark. You walked into an area, now it's like super dark. I whip out the old holy symbol of Ravenkind. I cast sunlight with it. I expend five charges while I present the holy symbol to make it shed bright light in a 30-foot radius. Dim light for an additional 30 feet. It lasts for 10 minutes. And as you do that... No one notices. <laughs> Not a single creature in the area notices this crazy bright light coming from you. What? What's going on with the uh, fangs over there? Fangs McCoy. The, uh, that giant statue? Oh, it's a statue? Oh, it's a statue? Yeah. Fuck! Oh. I thought it was a guy. Statue. No, I said statue. I didn't hear statue. He, I'm sorry. Definitely said statue. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Well, do you, do you want to look at it? It's... Is it Strahd? Yeah. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Fucking narcissist. Do you look at it or no? Yeah, I'll look at it. Yeah, look um, at it. I don't think... I don't give me an inspection. Know what, we're doing. what? Inspection check. Uh, investigation? Investigation, no. Oh, oh, natural 20. 12 plus 2 makes a 14. You notice roots are sprouting from the ground around the base of this. And they continue forward past and through the circle. I continue on my pathway. At the south end of the hilltop is a sickly copse. A grove of dead trees and shrubs with a huge misshapen tree at its core. Blood oozes like a sap from its twisted trunk. Skulking around the tree are six gangly humanoid creatures covered with needles. Embedded in the tree is a shiny battle axe, beneath which lies a humanoid skeleton. I'm gonna pick up a rock and throw it past them, see if I can get them to walk away from the tree. Okay. You can do that. Would that work? Well, let's find out. 
Yeah, give me a uh, seven. Plus strength. Dex. Dex. Yeah, you can use Dex for your eleven. You're getting a clearer look as these creatures now are hearing these sounds of rock of a rock being thrown. You notice that there's about three bigger blights, six smaller blights than that one, and then twelve even smaller blights. Oh, that's a bunch. Glad I didn't take that shot. Well, I want to go ahead and try to take down that statue. Well, now that you know what you're dealing with, like what's right south of you guys, you can decide how we to. We don't. We don't. Oh you, yeah. You, you know. We don't. Oh yeah. My bad. Uh, so those roots are coming out of the statue. Um, not coming out of the st statue. Uh, roots are coming out of the ground at and attaching itself to the statue. I'm gonna take my battle axe and chop down the statue. Give me a roll for it. Natural twenty and six. So let's, uh, if you want to double it, it would be 12. All right. Is this thing down yet or what? It's a gigantic Big statue. statue. Right, so just imagine you just fucking chopping that going, yeah, fuck you, Stride. Three you. and tw th uh, three to hit. Well, uh, nine to hit. Uh, as you chop, you kind of like, you kind of get like a little exhausted as you keep on chopping away at this thing. Do I see him? You see him doing yeah. it, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna walk you up. You could join in. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up to it and slash at it with my battle axe. It does slashing damage. I don't right. think that makes a difference. Before. No, no. 17. All right. 22 that to that. hit. You, you're dealing a nice chunk of damage to it. So it's gonna be... Woo. Oh, nice. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... 16 slashing what? damage. Why do you get 2d8s on your battle axe? Oh, I'm sorry, it's 1d8. Okay, I'll, I'll reroll. Take the highest number. Okay, so 8, 9, 10. 10 uh, slashing damage. Oh, I wasn't damage. adding strength to that. No, okay, well, attacks. No. But, no. It's, uh, as you're striking away at the feet of the statue, it's starting to kind of wobble back and forth. Just push it. You, you, push it? you can breathe fire. Yeah, but I'm not That's wasting That's wasted. It. It's a okay. one a day thing. I'm not wasting it. Okay. You could like sneeze. I'm gonna. Uh, can I attack it, it again? Just push it. <laughs> Just push it. Can I, can I chop at it again? Sure. Well, give it one more good hit. Okay. Nineteen. Uh, that hits. Um, three, four, five damage. You give it one more good chop, and it starts falling face first. Where it's kind of like where you guys are standing. Oh, so I gotta give move. Me, move. Give me an athletics check, please. All of us? Uh, just the two of you two who are oh, chopping God. away at it. Natural 20. You're like... <laughs> you're like you take a sidestep as it falls to the ground. You were there before oh, you so moved. leaned towards him? Because I have a 7. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, unless if we're adding athletics, then it would be 10. Um... Yeah, well, that's what I, I said before. Oh, okay. Like, so, so then... 10, ten. you're kind of like, okay. <laughs> and it, it hits the ground. Uh, and it lands into... There's like a fire pit in the middle. Uh, oh. And it's going <laughs> to land into that fire pit. Nice. Cool. What's going on with those roots? They're still Nature just, investigation. just there. Nature uh, the roots start to kind of let the statue go a little bit, very slowly, and pull themselves back into the ground. Okay. Can I make a nature check on him? I was just saying nature check. Okay. I got a 13 plus 5 makes an 18. Natural 20. Natural 20? Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> well, the both of you guys know that this is uh, some, form, some sort of a tree-like creature. Something very powerful. Oh. Okay. I'm going to try throwing another rock. And I'm also going to use Minor Illusion to make them see if they can see something, whether it be like another ghoul or whatever the case may be. Okay. So I'm going to roll d20 for the rock throw. That's a 14 plus 4 is 18. Okay. And what would I do for Minor Illusion? Well, it's a spell. Oh, okay. So I'm going to make it look like an image of Shrod, but as a girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you, what do you do with this image? 
just puts it somewhere. Yeah, yeah it just within kind of thirty the, feet of him. Put it on the other side of uh, the hill of where I am, and I try to accompany it with the rock noise to try to get them to go to the image of Strad. Whether or not that works. All right. Meanwhile, we kind of investigate the area still. I suppose. Who the fuck is throwing rocks over there? Uh, what? Where did you hear rocks? <laughs> you don't hear somebody like flinging rocks around? Bet you it's Ren. Yeah, probably. So you threw the rock over, and now you're the lights and stuff there. Yeah. Kind of clearing out of that area. So now you are you all together now? I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, they were, we're still investigating. What we know so far is they heard me throw rocks. And They're then gonna I'm gonna go in that direction. We're walking towards that noise. All right. So it's funny. You're walking towards the noise. I did I make a roll. I got a 18 on an. Uh, I got a 17 on a perception roll. So okay. He heard would that rocks. be enough to hear rocks? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I just kind of assumed it would. I took a liberty. Okay. Then, yeah. <laughs> so as you you get closer, you see this tree, along with him. Like, kind of in the woods, in the bushes. I have a question for you, Steve. Yeah. When um, when Nick tried to, f like, do the nature check, mm -hmm. was he able to see if that tree was from this plane of existence? No. He was not from this plane of existence? Oh, no, he wasn't <laughs> able to <laughs> see if... He, no. he can't tell, though. Okay. No problem. I'm assuming he is. You mean the tree is? Yeah. Okay. Or she. Um, or. Could, or it. Yeah. You don't know what the tree. Don't pick the tree's sexual orientation. That's a gender. Gender. Um, you know what I mean. So, all right. So we walk up, and no, uh, I guess we see the blights. Yeah. yeah they start, they're starting to kind of like walk after this image that uh, that he put out somehow magically. Are they all within it's twenty feet of shot. each other? Are they all in like a 20 foot cube? Yeah. Hey, you guys want to see a party trick? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> I, winds blow around me. My eyes roll back to reveal completely black voids, and I cast Hunger of Hadar uh, centered on the blights. Okay. Uh, open a gateway to the dark between the stars. 20 foot radius sphere of blackness and bitter cold appears. Centered on a point with range and listing, lasting for the duration. Concentration up to one minute. Uh. Boop, 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 boop. Any creature that starts its turn in the area takes 2d6 cold damage. Any creature that ends its turn in the area must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 acid damage. I'm assuming Damn. we're not near that area. No, it's mm -hmm. on the blights. No, it's on the blights. <clears throat> okay, so I gotta do what again? Uh, Well, if they start their turn there, they take 2d6 cold damage. No save. Okay, so no save. Each okay. one of them. So they're pretty much starting their turn there. All right. At any creature that ends its turn in that area, got to make a deck save. Wouldn't you also be surprised? Yeah, they pretty much have no idea what's going on. 2d6 acid damage. So they take 2d6 acid, 2d6 cold. Yes. Are you going to roll for it or do you want me to roll for it? Uh, I will roll for it. So just roll 4d6s and give me that number. That's All right. What I'm gonna do. I got it. All right. Come on. Oh, that's fucking shit. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four. So that's, uh, that's ten. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's, that literally is one, two, three, and four. That's yeah. like Yahtzee. Shit. Um, <laughs> no, Yahtzee's four, five four, four kind. Four. Oh, yeah, true. That's a straight. That's a straight. That's a small straight. Small straight. Small straight. <laughs> um, Back to you know me. I got that small straight. <laughs> Back to really fun board games. Welcome to Yahtzee Peace. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, the smaller of the blights fade away. <laughs> yeah, it's they, right. they just kind of get eaten away. Uh, the other, there's, let's see. There's about nine blights left of oh. larger sizes. It would be Ren's turn to do something. Mm. Um, I'm not near them. No, no. but... I was going to say, they're in the middle. They're in uh, a sphere of complete blackness. Oh. Yeah. Can I just shoot at that sphere? Like how, yeah, how are we going to see anything? <laughs> when they come out, if they come out, but if they don't come out, they'll probably die. Oh. Yeah. 
All right. Mm, so what cool. do you do? Um. Well, I'm gonna get closer to that tree. I'm gonna see if I can do perception just to see if I can tell what it is. Investigation. Yes. Investigation. Yeah, sure. Sorry. That is a nine. So as you get closer to the tree, oh gosh, you notice <laughs> that there is a skeleton at the foot of the tree. Oh. This dead adventurer's tattered leather armor is insalvageable. But next to him, embedded into the tree, happens to be a magical battle axe. Can I reach it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, can I try to pull it from the tree? You can. What can I pour it? Let's do it. Which is strength? Uh, plus one. Another phone number. Uh, 13. You don't even need to roll for it. You you go over to the axe and you grab it and you lift it up. And you notice that for this axe that is normally meant to be for a human, weighs incredibly light. Ooh. Cool. Uh, can I... I'm going to equip that instead of my crossbow. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. And as you equip that, give me a perception check. Oh gosh, I can't be surprised. Four. <laughs> can't be surprised, good. <laughs> because behind you comes a smaller blight. Oh. Looking at you, ready to strike at you. Is it close? It's very close, can it's I right behind you. Can turn around and whomp? Do that for me. Alright. Seventeen. One plus... Your strength. strength. Strength one, two. Roll a second D8. Nice. It's two D8. Six seven. plus one, yeah, seven. So it's nine. nine. Nine? Total. So you deal, you strike this creature, and the light turns to ash, and the ashes fall to the ground. I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, this thing's like. Please, Mr. Stark. At least ten weeks out from being released. I, so. I didn't yeah. know. I didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Please, Mr. Stark. Please. Okay, cool. Can I get Let's some see. stats on this axe? Um, you can in a moment. But you also take one point of damage. Oh no. Mm. And when you when you felt that, you felt kind of like a a, a little pain in your hand. Hmm. Arthritis, probably. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> it will be Bunky's turn. I forgot we're going with the initiative again. It's all good. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of stuff just happened. So um, I'm in front of this black void. Okay. Yeah. And uh, is there anything that's not in the black void? Like the tree? Or is it just us? It's just kind of you guys around this black void. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm going to... Um, I have nothing I'm going to do. I'm just going to... To delay and see what happens. What, what exactly happens when you delay? You like, go ahead and you are You just wait until the end of you wait until a condition you specify yeah. happens. So like if you delay to the end of initiative to see what happens, that means once the list goes to the bottom, you can see what's happening and then you're like, nah, I can't, still can't do anything. So if I say I delay until a creature comes out of the void, then I can attack that creature? Yeah. Then yeah. you'd you would put your turn after that creature. I delay until I see a creature come out of the void. Okay. Now it's the enemy's turn. Cool. <laughs> Here's 2d6 cold damage. Five more. Okay. <laughs> um, only two of them make it out. Oh, damn. All right. Yeah. There was like like close to 30 enemies. In the it was like, yeah, it was close up there. It was like 12 small. I had to do something useful this, this session, guys. <laughs> um, uh, no, that would make it him. He delayed until enemies came out. Oh, okay. So yeah, so it's about oh, you. Oh, they literally came out. Okay. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame on one of them. Has to make a Dex saving throw. Does not make that okay. saving throw. Ooh, nice. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Radiant damage. All right. As you hit him with that radiant damage, he also turns into a form of ash. Neat. Um, I'm just gonna stay here. All right, 
<laughs> so the one that's left, Axel Rose, what are you doing? There's only one left. Are you there with them? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was the one that was like, did you guys hear that? Oh, okay. No. That's me. That was you. But, you know, thanks. Take credit. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just leave that one for, for Bramble to take care of, but I'm going to go investigate the tree. So you find you go to investigate the tree. You find uh, the sap coming out of the tree, specifically where that axe was. Yeah. That uh, that know, Ren's now holding. That Ren's now holding, uh, and it looks like blood. Okay. Um, anything with that skeleton? No, nope, just the body of a dead adventurer. Hmm. Or what used All to be right, the so body. So I'm gonna go ahead, and since there's nothing like specific about this tree, I'm just gonna set it on fire. <laughs> 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 Nothing special about the tree. Okay, let's light it on There fire. is a bunch of fire near you, right? Didn't, didn't Steve say that before? That there's like a... No, no the was, statue the fell statue. into a fire the, the, pit. The statue fell in the fire pit. But we don't know if the fire pit was lit or not. Oh, it was oh, lit. Okay. It was lit. He said it was lit. It was lit oh. AF. Alright. Oh, I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and light the tree on fire. Well... I did just get a really cool axe from that tree. Well, that tree's my friend, guys. I don't trust the skeleton that's in this tree yeah. after we killed that blight. So I'm gonna go ahead and light this tree on fire. I like the belief that all trees have skeletons. Cause that's what it sounded like you just said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, you light the tree on fire. Okay. What do you gotta, you gotta use um your fire breath, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Um, light that shit on fire. Okay. It, well, uh, it can't make a saving throw. No, it can't. So it's just, um... It's, it's just a, a tree. fucking tree. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, don't light me on fire, bro. Don't tease me, bro. Oh. I get three D6s. Because I'm at six level. I'm at se uh, seventh level. Hey, uh, can I... For ten damage. Plus it's on fire, so I'm gonna say we... It's a, you know, it's nature, so it's I dump a potion. 20. Like, we're going to double that. Okay. I, so what, what? It's a piece of, like, wood. Yeah? Usually that stuff just goes on fire, and it's, like... It's a living it. tree, though. But it's, like, weak against fire. Is it weak against fire? Hmm. How is wood not weak against just, fire? <laughs> it's a living tree. They take a while to burn. When you start questioning everything. <laughs> it, it started... Yeah. I'm going to go with that right now. You're gonna it's going to take the 10 damage. But it's... Now this tree is, like, physically moving. And it's, like, getting angry. Because... Because... Uh, you... Well, evil Axel, tree. Did you do a nature trick on the tree? No. It's... Yeah, it's he did. It's a okay, monster. The next, oh, no, we did a nature tree check on the roots. He did it on the roots. Oh. Oh, yeah. With the band. Bramble, your turn. <laughs> Wait, was the tree in the void? No. no. All right. I, I don't know. I guess I'll pop off some Eldritch Blast at that last scrublet. All right. Whoop, whoop. Boom. Uh, an, an 18 hit? Yes. So that's uh, 13 damage. It's Nine dead. plus three. <laughs> the cool. tree or the blight? The, the blight. blight. Oh. That tree is not dead. That tree it's is not moving. gonna die. It's like a monster. It's moving. Can I use forth. the second half of my turn to inspect that tree? Yes. With nature? Please do. Yes. Uh, 12 plus 5 is 17. All right. So, I'm you notice sure. that this tree seems to be a particular type of tree <laughs> known as the Gothius tree. What the fuck does that mean to me? It creates blights oh. as well as can regenerate its health. And the only way to truly end the tree's life is by cutting the roots and removing it from the earth. Can I do it with the axe? Probably. Yeah. Uh, I feel like oh, that's. A, I feel that, like that's a thing. That tree just makes blights, guys. Uh, we gotta cut the roots off. Oh shit. Yeah. And the, good that I like set it on fire because now it's standing up and all the roots are out of the ground. Okay. And easy to hit. Wait, it's standing? Well, it came up and was shaking. The last so. march of the ants? <laughs> Whose turn is it? Um, Bramble's actually still, because he only did an investigation on it. Oh, I also nuked the... Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. you nuked the blast. So, right. so then it's got to be... My turn. Th Ren. Yeah. Ren's turn. I just don't, don't know what I want to do. Fuck, you're empty. 
You've done that Don't about be three empty. times, bro. Fuck, it's... A, oh, yeah, and I refilled it. <laughs> <laughs> Both uh, my beer and my coffee are empty. So this tree is bleeding, on fire, had an accident, and is also alive? Yes. And the only way to truly kill it is to remove it from the roots. But it's walking around, so... Right? Is that what's It's happening? not walking yeah. around, it's... Oh, I saw it. Just mad. I don't know, I'm confused. I'm just gonna see if I can spot where the roots are and cut them. Well, the roots are underneath the tree, so... Okay. Alright. Just, uh, just hacking on some roots. Mm -hmm. That's a five. So you straight at the, uh, the tree, at the roots, and, uh... The axe just kind of gets, like, stuck and wedged in there. No! And you can't quite pull it out. Also, take a peer, uh, take one damage. Oh. Uh, Bunky's turn. Okay, I'm going to cast, cast Banishment on the tree. I attempt to send one creature that I can see within range to another plane of existence. The target oh must succeed. The target. <laughs> <laughs> the target must succeed on a charisma saving throw or be banished. That's a saving throw of 13. Steve does not want this to happen. No, and it no. does. It does. <laughs> well, closing that book up. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Is the target uh, native to this plane of existence? Yes. Yes. Okay. If a target is native to the plane of existence, um, I banish the target to a harmless demi plane for one minute. While there, the target is incapacitated. The target remains there until the spell ends, at which point the target reappears in the space it left or in the nearest unoccupied space, if that space is occupied. But, since it's... Since the roots are removed from Earth, or Barovia, I assume that kills it. Yes, but not <laughs> right away. Okay. So the so tree it's... disappears for a minute. <laughs> you guys have, like, 60 seconds to decide... What to do next when this tree reappears? I'm gonna go stand where the tree was. I think it's gonna They're be gonna get dead. Pushed, squished by a tree. No, it goes to a different spot. Are you sure? He said it. Does it go to a different spot or does it go to the same spot? I'm uh, pretty sure it goes to a different spot. Target remains there. Okay. At which point target reappears in the space it left or in the nearest unoccupied space if that space is occupied. It is a tree. And I could be a dick and make it appear in Groot still, in ground still. <laughs> I just make a new character, whatever. Okay, so <laughs> don't be a dick. Since I removed, it, I mean, you said you removed the the roots. tree's now gone. <laughs> if the you roots remove are the now roots, gone. the tree dies, right? Yes. So aren't the roots removed from the earth, killing the tree? And yes, but it takes some time for the tree to actually be killed. Also, that means I was also banished to a different plane of existence. Cause I nope. Was, One I was creature. Stuck. One oh, creature. Because okay. yeah. I was stuck in the roots. Um, you're stuck in the roots? Yeah. yeah. Well, then no, you're... No, not stuck in the roots. Then your the harmless axe, axe was. was. stuck oh, in the roots. Okay. But the axe, you're still holding on to it, and the axe stays with you. Oh, okay. So I was just like... Yeah. I mean, okay. you have nothing to worry about because you're native to this plane. Mm. Yeah, and I mean, I come back in a minute. I anyway. guess you would have to make a saving throw, technically. Uh, yeah. I mean, but even if you are, it's harmless. And then you're just gonna come back. All right, <laughs> so I guess we just wait a minute and see what happens. Well, <laughs> it's, I'm see, not gonna jump I in have, his grave. I have to plant now. See if I can do anything. It's just like the four of us standing there and the oh, tree in the background. Why don't we put a fire around the space where he was, like with that do fire you, pit? Are you guys? In one minute? You're gonna light the entire area on fire again? No. I mean, no. the spot it's... where he was, because that's where he's gonna reappear. That's... that's where his roots will appear. Setting fire to the roots. After I'll they were already removed fire from fire. Right. So to let's the roots. see. Give me an athletics check. Me? Yeah. Okay, I think I have a zero for that. Nope, plus two. Kidding. Oh, five plus two is seven. Are you down for the fire plan, Red? Yeah. Give me an athletics check. I also have a Tinder box. I don't know if that helps, but I'm also proficient in athletics. You have okay, Tinder so on you your have phone. Tinder. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, give me a, a use tool. Well, okay, hold on. Give me a use tool thing. 18. So you're using your Tinder box, and you start up a fire where the tree used to be. 
All right. Let's wait 45 more seconds. <laughs> that tree, that fire instantly goes around the whole area yep. of trees. Sure does. Engulf- all those dead trees. Oh, all those dead. dead trees. You are now entrapped in a circle of flames. <clears throat> Uh, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. <laughs> Maybe you guys are. I'm gonna pull. A... <laughs> I can fly. Fuck y'all. Oh yeah. <laughs> How many people You're can... flying into smoke. I'm, I'm flying <laughs> through smoke. <laughs> like a badass, by the way. Okay, so now everything's surrounded. You're surrounded in fire now. I'm gonna pull a vintage monkey and just try to jump through the wall of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. Why why are you people like this? <laughs> <laughs> but first I equip my eye patch. <laughs> <coughs> Goodbye, Ren. <laughs> Goodbye everyone. Okay. The <laughs> tree reappears. Goes What the fuck? The I live here! <laughs> the fire is incredibly deadly. You're gonna jump through it? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, I let my my spell drop. Yeah. Yeah. The tree's back and also now surrounded in flames, or is within the flames. And we aren't being affected by the flames yet. You're all just standing in the middle of this fire. Okay. Exhaustion is now starting to take place on you, though. Do you want to go? Yeah. We okay, kind of had go. like a whole. You were like, "I'm planning, I'm planning," and I just kind of thought that was your turn. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cast. Yes, this is the right one. I'm gonna cast Searing Smite on my battle axe. I'm gonna cast Searing Smite on my battle axe, which okay. makes on the battle axe to like a white hot flame come from it. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna go ahead before the tree comes back and put my axe into the ground. So that way when it lands on the ground, it's just gonna go the searing axe is gonna it's gonna land on the axe. I thought it's already on fire though. Right, but the roots are being cut. Okay. The roots so, are gonna be cut goodbye. from the Okay, that's number yeah. four. So. That's weapon number four, ladies and gentlemen. I, okay. I can't. <laughs> the tree, so we'll do that. We'll do that. The tree comes back, lands on your flaming axe. Now you guys are surrounded by fire. And are currently also in fire. <laughs> <laughs> so that works then. You're lighting yourself on fire. I'm resistant to fire. Not immune. I'm not. Not immune. <laughs> I'm not. It, it means you take half damage. And I can already half that with a uh, cunning action, I guess. I don't know if that applies to fire. I, I had like some like hidden talent where I can just suck up all fire, but I can't do that. That that I know of. That would be OP. Right? That would be that would be so, so a OP. Why did you I I also did not get an action during this. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to cast fly and leave. <laughs> I'm You're gonna to make like a tree and leave. <laughs> I was gonna save you guys, but now you can all burn. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna jump From up. Joke. Yeah. I'm gonna jump up and grab Bramble's apple <laughs> right when he flies. Athletics check. <laughs> Attack I'm proficient. roll. I got this. That's no. a seven plus uh proficient so seven plus <laughs> four? Eleven? You just saw you that's why. Okay, so everyone who's inside this monstrous pit of fire takes fifty three damage. Am I, I am, out? Oh. Give I am me a out. check. Fucking, I just left. So everybody takes 53 damage except for me. I have one HP that. left. I, what kind I, of a check is this? Are we rounding down or are we rounding up? I'm gonna You're going to do an athletics check or some sort of... It's uh, not a fly straight up 60 feet check? Give me a fly space. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a move action. <laughs> do, do it. Do it. I, I did it. I did <laughs> it when I cast fly. I, I, so I rolled an then. 11 to grab onto his ankle when he flew. What's your armor class? Fifteen. Fifty-three damage. Yes, uh, okay. um, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Straight up. Oh. Unless I use cunning action and have that. You should do that. Can you use cunning action in this situation? Against fire. 
<laughs> Dodge roll right, fire. Go the cunning and... action would be not to light the dead trees on fire. <laughs> I don't know why you did this to begin with. You were all for it. You, yeah, you... let's make a fire. I'm gonna go get a fire. You didn't well, say I was... anything before we did it. <laughs> you had a problem with it. You should have told me. No, <laughs> he's only got a problem now that it's yielding bad consequences. <laughs> True. Let me see what cunning action does real quick. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I'm gonna die. What? Well, what I'm gonna that under? hold on. Give me a. You gotta start doing. <laughs> this is the first. Oh, this is like the first time I have to do this. <laughs> you gotta give me death throws. <laughs> death throws. That sounds uh, as bad as I guess it is. Uh, okay. I don't know what you think, cunning. Wait, That's maybe an it's this. Okay, so you have one point of health. And I'm right still now. on fire. You guys are in the fire, slowly being. What? Consumed. Like I don't understand why we were dealt damage because Nick used his axe on the tree while it was on fire. Or something. Yeah, because he put it in the that? middle, and the tree <laughs> appeared underneath the fiery axe, setting the only safe spot that you guys had on fire. He so thought he was immune to the fire. He's not. <laughs> the only person that right now has an action is him. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and pick since you flew away. Yeah, I'm fuck you pick, guys. Literally run, pick both of them up, and just run out. I'm gonna yell. Why would fire. you do that in the middle of a? <laughs> We're dead. Uncanny dodge when an attacker that you can see hits oh, no. you with an attack. Oh, not fire. You can use your reaction to have the attack's damage. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, cunning action lets you take a bonus action to do things in combat. Oh yeah, so... dash, disengage, dodge, yeah. So, in the end of this craziness, you guys have somehow escaped the fire. What? I picked he, both he picked of you, you up. Guys. Give me an athletic You strike. ran into fire. Where, where he did is, he go? You're in the fire. He's resistant to the fire, so he gets half the damage. So, I have one health. Yeah. I drink a potion because I have how one. How does the proficiencies work? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so this is like a literal moment of life or death between you and your party members. Um, what did you roll? Six. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. So are you proficient in athletics? Yes. All right. So you got a plus three. Oh, so I'm... what's your strength bonus? Three. So you get plus six total to your roll. So you have a 12. Yes, that's what my question was. Party dies. You pick <laughs> up Ren and you kind of throw him outside the fire. Woo. And he rolls around the dirt. Uh, <laughs> putting him out. Putting him out, essentially. <laughs> is, he, is he dying, dying? He's dying. Oh, dying. yeah, I'm like... I'm, He's I'm, got one health left. I'm real dead. I could save you so easily. You die. then run over and grab him real quick, and you take uh, you take Bunky, and you throw him out of the fire as this well. It's gonna be a mess. To edit. <laughs> I take one point of falling damage and die. <laughs> <laughs> you're, making, you're saying a lot of numbers, Steve. You're making me nervous. <laughs> oh no! Half of fifty-three is twenty-six. Twenty. Yeah. Um, how much health do you have left? Me? Yeah. 80 minus 26 yeah. is, what, 54? Yeah. Take another 31 damage. Fire damage? Is that yeah. including... No, that's including halving it. Okay. Originally, this would have killed you. Can I fly down and do a medicine check on Ren? Yeah. I mean, I have a potion. You can't use that. a potion when you're, you're oh, yeah. dying. No, you're dying. Yeah. Uh, 13 plus 4 is 17. Okay. Can I assess him? You can. Can I roll to stabilize him? Roll to stabilize him. Alright, medicine check. Clear! <laughs> uh, 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, so you're like stabilizing him. Alright. So, you guys... What a gigantic cock up. <laughs> <laughs> All and because on, we went back in time for some reason. <laughs> and on that note, in this incredibly... Am I alive? <laughs> you're alive. <laughs> you're, you're alive. <laughs> you're, you're alive, Bunky. Oh, thank you're God. alive by one hit point. <laughs> thank the Dungeon we, Master God. Can we end this at, at, like, at this episode? At just TJ just be like, am I alive? <laughs> God. <laughs> I think that would be perfect. And the most... Terrifying thing that's ever happened to this, to you guys, 
it was fire and a tree. A tree. A tree almost fucking killed you. <laughs> and we banished Did that tree this... to a plane of existence for a little bit, too. Did this tree actually have any attacks? No! <laughs> No! I knew. On its turn, it just made a blight that has four HP. Four! You could have used a rock and killed it in a single shot. But you guys had to set the whole fucking thing on fire. I. Uh, I would like. I was not a part of that plan. Clearly. Um. I don't. I'm the DM, and I don't feel like I was a part of that plan. <laughs> no, it was all mine. This is my horrible idea, and Nick went with it, and then it just happened. Well, no, because oh we God. we originally like oh. successfully set it on fire and had a wall of fire, and then we reversed time. <laughs> wait, wait, when did Nick we reverse... set it on fire? In did that we area. reverse time while I was getting a beer? Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, like we went like back in time. Because he's like, wait a minute, I want to do this, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> and then that happened. <laughs> And, yeah, so be careful with that next time. <laughs> you pretty much killed two people. <laughs> and now you guys have to immediately go to the infirmary. It's... And on that note... And Isaac's going to be like, dude. <laughs> well, which one of them... All right, let's We go haven't the even found the druids or the gem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we, we fought a tree. We fought a tree. You literally just let a circle on fire, and that was it. You're well, going to be pissed. <laughs> all right. On the next episode... We'll see what happens when an army of druids wonders what the hell just happened to the <laughs> druid circle in a matter of minutes. <laughs> Thank you very much. This has been Copper Peace. Have a good night, guys. Copper Peace is a Dungeons & Dragons adventure podcast. Please like, share, and subscribe to us. Leave a comment and rate us on iTunes. And if you can, tell a friend. Thank you for listening.